Yo guys, so I'm currently in the room I do all my podcasts in. I've just moved things around. So actually, I've moved my podcasting arena to over here. It used to be in this corner, which is one thing I've changed. And I've also laid out down here my home, what, I, what tools I've got to play around with. Um, as the gyms in the UK have just all closed, so there is no gym access at the moment. So I have to make do with what I've got. And I had preempted this because obviously gyms across the, the globe had been closing. So I had ordered, <laughs> stupidly did this. So I ordered some dumbbells, some adjustable dumbbells, which are great. I really recommend adjustable dumbbells for this period of time, which could be stored away really easily. Um, I don't want a whole gym set up, I can't. We're nine floors up in a flat in London, can't happen. So I bought some adjustable dumbbells and a pull-up bar. So this was something that could go in the doorway so I could do pull-ups because vertical pulling is something really hard to program if you're not um, able to have a pull-up bar. And then I also ordered the next day a bench because I was like, it will be quite nice to have a bench to do some incline pressing and things. So the bench is here. Where is it? Down here, which is actually pretty decent, but nothing else, nothing else is here. Um, so let me take you through what I do have available. We have, and this is great because as you can tell, these right here are unopened. Some bands, I don't know if they're the great usable for what we're trying to do here but i do have some bands so um, i have these bands and then these are some thicker bands so this might be good for some leg training i have some 0.5 kilo like really light additional weights um, that i picked up a long time ago which i, I just don't ever use uh, i have my weighted vest actually came which i was going to use for contest prep but this will come in useful here just some as additional loading maybe i'll be able to use these cuffs I'm not sure, attach them to some bands, something, not sure, have to see. I have some knee straps, so I should be able to do some occlusion training with that if I wanted to. Some BFR, uh, for my legs at least. I do have some tourniquets somewhere. And then I have a dipping belt, and this could come in useful for doing some, like, uh, squats of some kind potentially. Not sure what else. Then this is the bench I picked up. So this can go incline, it can go decline. The reason I picked this one up in particular is because it folds away really nicely. Um, and yeah, it's actually quite a nice bench. Uh, and then I have a TRX. I have had this for a long, long time. So I can do a bunch of stuff on the TRX as well. I also just dug out this. Oh, wait up. So I have sliders. So I remember buying these when I was a one-on-one -on -one PT. I think I wanted to like differentiate myself or something, but these like slide on the ground on the carpet. Um, so these will slide really well on here. You can do like ab rollouts. You could probably do like chest flies with these if you wanted to, leg curls. So they're quite cool, they're really cheap. I found my medical tourniquets. So this is for like occlusion training, wrap them around your arm. So they're pretty, they may come in handy a little bit. I then found also this bag of goodness which is just loads of different bands. And the cool thing with these bands, these are my pump up bands for bodybuilding shows. They have like handles on them as well. So that could come in quite a lot of handy because these bands I showed you earlier are really, really strong. They're too strong for a lot of things. So these ones will come in handy for like lateral raises and stuff. So I'm actually pretty excited that I've got all of this. Should tide me over until my dumbbells come and my pull up bar, which I'm a little bit gutted that they haven't arrived yet because I really feel like I'd have an amazing, actually a really cool setup. Um, with those dumbbells, you can achieve a lot with them.
<clears throat> so that was a surprisingly pretty good workout. It was actually ex how I expected it to go. Um, I didn't expect anything amazing, especially because my dumbbells haven't arrived yet. But you can get a hell of a lot of tension through the muscles. Uh, the exercise that surprised me most were the where I was standing on the bench and doing flexion rows with the weighted uh, backpack. That was the best exercise actually for me. Um, the inverted rows with the weighted vest, they're okay, uh, but certainly nothing like what a kind of t uh, a bent over row is gonna give you. I don't think it's as good a stimulus and I did a couple of extra sets to make up for that. The motor rows actually felt very, very good. I'm very happy with those. And then I myo uh biceps, delts, um, I had a tricep for like side delts, upright rows, and face pulls with bands. They work very, very well. Um, I did some stair calves, Maya rep style as well. I have a little ledge, do stair calves on, and then I just did a decline crunches on my uh, bench actually that allows you to do that. And I did that Maya rep style as well. And it's kind of good timing because this mesocycle is a metabolite mesocycle most for the most part. So what this is gonna do for me in particular is probably give myself a, a big break from heavy loading because I haven't had a break from heavy loading in a long, long time. So that actually probably do my body quite some good. Um, but I'm, I'm very satisfied that I'll be able to continue making muscular gains training like this. So um, I'm just kind of hoping my dumbbells come soon because um, I think having dumbbells at home will really make quite a bit of difference. But yeah, that's uh, the workout done. That's how everything's going. Uh, my mindset right now is just to make ends meet with what I've got and not overthink things and hope that the, the gyms reopen soon and the world, yeah, moves back to normality soon. I'm glad that I have the knowledge and capability to understand the principles of hypertrophy and how you can apply those in any setting to get results. And I think it's only down to a person's lack of creativity or knowledge to make continued progress. Um, so yeah, you guys, uh, if you're unsure then think we have the forum there obviously but other than that take care revive stronger